pretty good landing on him. I actually heard the wheels chirp. As for Rooster, well, he doesn't know it yet, but he's about to get a wake-up call. His approach looks pretty good. Rooster wants to finally nail a landing. There we go. Oh, Christ. But as he flies over the numbers, things start to go sideways, literally. Crap. The airplane pitches to one side. A wing dips. Jesus Christ. If it hits the ground, the airplane could flip. It just about got me. I should have just went around. I'll bet you there's some wide eyes in that thing. They flared way high and it touched down sideways and they had the left main off and them boys just had a wild landing. It was a real eye opener for me. If Rooster was hoping to make a good impression, this is not the way to impress Warren. This is the cardinal rule in tailwheel airplanes. Never, ever, ever let it get crooked on landing and I let it get crooked. When I touched, it swung on me and uh, fortunately able to get it back real quick. Mark is one happy student. Rooster, not so much. I knew I'd flared high, so I'm like, I'll oh, soften a little power. But it was higher than I thought it was. Well, I said, and then it started going high. sideways. And I never picked up on the sideways. It, it just touched, and then it swung. I was thinking, Rooster, get this thing down next to the ground. What are you doing? No matter how long you've been flying, no matter how good you are, you are always learning. You do that in a Mustang. You're tearing it up. You're you know, I mean, it it's yeah. junk. Can't let your guard down. I mean, he recovered the airplane, and you know, someone like me probably wouldn't have known what to do, and I would have bet metal. For once, uh, Miller's going to be able to, to poke me in the chest and say, what were you thinking? I guess we're done flying together for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Goodbye. The good news? Well, everything turned out OK. Rooster logs a bruised ego. Rooster's buying beer tonight. <laughs> the air dogs log a couple more airplanes. But one important question remains. Are they good enough to graduate to the Mustang? I think we're ready to put them in the back seat of a Mustang. I think that's where we'll go from here. <laughs> so the Air Dogs have their next mission, the P-51 Mustang. If they thought this Harvard was a challenge, the P-51 is going to be a mountain to climb. The Mustang is something to look forward to, but the Harvard is something they won't ever forget. The nasty yellow trainer that taught the Air Dogs a tough lesson. It's a big airplane and it's relatively docile if you do everything right, but you get behind the curve, like what happened to Rooster today, and it'll kill you. <laughs>